The federal government is investing millions of dollars to grow technology investments in Texas. Senator John Cornyn spoke at a summit in Dallas today. He says the issue is a matter of national security. Fox Wars Alex Boyer live with this story. Alex. Hey, good afternoon, guys. And the reason being is that the United States relies on other countries to supply many of the products that we use on a daily basis, including medications. Uh, the Senate Intelligence Committee, or Committee, rather, is offering grants to try and minimize our uh, reliance on overseas. Strained relations with communist China, increased cooperation between Iran, Russia, and North Korea, and ongoing military conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East. <laughs> are a huge concern for the U.S. government. How should the United States think about what some people might call industrial policy? At the 2024 Venture Dallas Summit held Wednesday, U.S. Senator John Cornyn said the Senate Intelligence Committee is worried about America's heavy reliance on products made overseas. COVID sort of raised that issue first with our dependency on things like uh, manufacturing in China for PPE, the personal protective equipment and others. You begin to wonder, well, what else is there out there that we're dependent on? The unsettling answer, he said, is practically everything. Cornyn says China makes most of the active ingredients found in many medications Americans take on a regular basis. Semiconductor chips are another trouble spot. I realize that another pandemic or a military conflict um, or some natural disaster could potentially disrupt that and would drive us into a depression and make it impossible for us to defend the nation and keep the peace. Semiconductor chips go into virtually anything that you can turn on and off, from cars to cell phones to F-35 joint strike fighter jets. To combat future supply chain shortages, the U.S. government is incentivizing the private sector to invest and reshore manufacturing in the U.S. The Department of Commerce is giving competitive grants to companies to increase manufacturing capabilities here. Cornyn says it's working, pointing to Samsung, located in Central Texas, building a $40 billion dollar manufacturing chip facility. Cornyn is hopeful other companies will soon follow. Well, it's a very dangerous world, and uh, so th that's really got my uh, attention, as you might imagine. So Senator Cornyn also noted that China has a hold on critical mineral processing. He says that about 90 percent of the world's critical minerals come from China. So in his words, he says there are still many vulnerabilities out there.